Hopkinton Select Board Vice Chair John Catino was at the mayor's office in Boston this morning to help announce the Boston Marathon has been postponed to September 14th. He dropped by the HCAM studios to tell us about the postponement. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Catino. Uh, could you talk about the decision to move the Boston Marathon to September 14th and the town's involvement with the decision? Uh, absolutely. Yes, it really started between the, uh, the BAA, the governor's office, and uh, Mayor Walsh's office. They brought in all of the town managers or town representatives for the eight towns on the way um, yesterday, and um, it was being very fluid because they were just trying to find a date that worked. You know, to, to um, one of the answers that uh, the governor gave was that they couldn't do it the week before because it was Labor Day, and then the week after was, was something else. And so the, the 14th ended up being the best day. Hey, can you talk about what the atmosphere was like at the mayor's office? Did they seem stressed out that they had to move the marathon at all? No, actually, it was quite the opposite. Every, people were, were very excited about it. It was, it was one of, uh, again, a co collaboration, cooperation, where um, we want, everybody wants this to go off. It's uh, the most prestigious marathon in the world, and um, to have, um, have it just being postponed, people were excited about it. Being, being canceled, uh, it, it was just uh, not in the cards. And, and I'm sure many want to know, will this be a work holiday, especially for those businesses along the Boston Marathon route? Well, to um, uh, answer it the way that the governor did, it's going to be exactly like Patriot's Day. And, and, he, and people asked him again, and he said, no, exactly like Patriot's Day. And that the, the holiday will be called Marathon Day. Terrific. And uh, what was your take on the process of moving the Boston Marathon to September 14th? They were throwing dates around uh, fast and furiously. And just like with this, with the virus that's happening, it, they, you know, things were changing uh, by the minute. And um, I think that they picked uh, the best date possible. I believe that uh, the marathon being so much part of uh, Hopkinton's culture, you know, for four generations, uh, you know, over 100 years of, of, of starts in Hopkinton. I'm elated and excited that, that we are still going to have it. Because, um, and I hope that this carries on, that uh, other organizations and other events see that you d one doesn't have to just cancel it that um, the, the millions of dollars that means to the communities on the way and all of the fundraising that was, that's been happening that, continue, that can continue on. My hat's off to, to all involved for uh, working so hard and cooperating and, and, and um, getting us this date and the, and the governor for cre uh, creating a holiday for it because it means so much to Hopkinton because that's what we do. We take care of each other. We certainly do. Thank you so much. Thank you.